Hello, the first step in the tutorial is to go ahead and get the prerequisites out of the way. You're going to need to order either the kit on Amazon from Greenlee 3D or you're going to need to go to Flash Forge and order the glass build plate from them. Now, what I show in the video is something a little different. I don't necessarily follow all of the steps and processes that Greenlee um, gives to you. For example, I do use a Z-Shim, um, and you're going to need to go to Flash Forge and click on the link below in the description and go ahead and 3D print this Z-Stop before you follow my tutorial. Now, you can still follow my tutorial uh, step by step, but I skipped out the process where they use um, different springs um, with their glass build plate um, setup. Now, I didn't really want to change the springs, and that's why I didn't do that. It is up to you. Now, my recommendation uh, after doing this several times is actually probably not to go to Amazon and order this kit from Greenlee 3D because of the cost alone. It's $47.64 plus shipping. Um, that is up to you if you want to use their kit. Again, their kit's nice. It's not bad. You get your corner stops already 3D printed for you. They give you the nuts to attach the corner stops to the edge of the corners of the build plate, and they give you different springs uh, underneath the build plate so you don't have to use um, a Z-Shim. Now, what I recommend is go ahead and just order the plate from Flash Forge for $19. Um, print the Z shim because that's what I'm showing you in the tutorial on your printer before you do this and then print the brackets um, which I'll have a link in the description below um, as well and just go ahead and use the pre-existing uh, bolt and nuts on the 3D printer print bed so that way you save some money um, and that way um, it's more economical but again the choice is up to you. You can use the kit from Greenlee for $47.64, or you can order the glass build plate for $19 from Flash Forge uh, USA's website. Okay, so the first step that you're gonna do is you're gonna need to pick a corner, and then you're gonna work with your hand and might wanna support the build plate, and you wanna kinda roll this tape off. Okay, so I'm just going to work with the razor blade, just gently pushing and rolling the glue adhesive off of the plate. Just kind of working it to where I get it off. I recommend using a little bit of solvent, uh, so it'll be a little easier to remove the residue glue uh, or adhesive on the build plate. Now you're going to take the razor blade and work the build plate uh, as much as possible so you can clean everything off, and I'm going to speed up the video now. Now you're going to raise the build plate up. And by the way, on this uh, Flash Forge, I'm going to also show you how to fix uh, this bearing assembly. I don't know how or why it broke, um, but when I got it, um, the person told me that that bearing had broke. So I've got a replacement kit coming in, and that series, I'm going to show you how to fix that as well on your 3D printer. Okay, so you're going to take a 732 socket. And now what you're going to do is loosen the four bolts on either side and you're going to take them off.
Okay, in your next step, you're going to install the white corner pieces. And what you're going to do is take the nut that came with the kit. Um, you probably could even use uh, the same one if you wanted to or if you had to um, with the washer right here. So what I'm going to do uh, right now is anchor them in, use the hex key and hold um, the nut on the screw and tighten it and get it to where I feel like it's good and tight. All right. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to install uh, the corners uh, by taking the bolt uh, that came with the 3D printer and then the uh, nut that comes with the kit. And a little hint, make these loose so when you're putting it in, the plate will actually be able to squeeze in. Once you get the plate where you want it, um, then you can go underneath it and you can tighten the bolt. So I'm tightening the bolt right now. And on this corner, I'm tightening it now. On this corner, I'm tightening the bolt as we speak. And then on this corner, I'm gonna tighten the bolt. So now, if you want, you can take your build plate off, um, but right now it's snug. And so now we have a glass build plate on the 3D printer. Um, now I didn't use the springs uh, that came with it. I think you don't need to really do that. You just need your stoppers on the corners of your bill plate. Um, and now you can easily put a glass bill plate on the printer. All right, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Okay, so the last step now is to install your Z shim or your Z stop. Now I decided not to change out the springs with the kit, which would uh, make it so you didn't have to 3D print a Z-Stop. Um, so I skipped that step and I actually 3D printed a Z-Stop from Thingiverse. I will have the link um, in the video in the description so you can click on that and go find those files and print them. Again, you need to print these before you do this um, so that you can actually use them when you do your upgrade. So all you have to do is take your part um, that you printed from Thingiverse, your Z-Shim, Put it back here uh, it'll clasp on the bearings right here on the side um, columns and now it'll allow you to uh, level your build plate so all you have to do now is go through the menu on your 3d printer and say level build plate uh, so i'm going to do that right now and i've already leveled it so you should see in a second um, that i was able to get it level and everything works correctly So that Z-Stop works, and then I am now perfectly level. So if you will see right here, you can see that the extruder nozzles are level on the build plate, and that Z-Stop, I'll go ahead and show that to you right now. Uh, here we go. You'll see the Z-Stop in the back. All right, and you'll see it. It's located right back there. And then what it does is it hits that switch right there and it stops it from crashing into the extruder nozzle right here when you bring your build plate up.